Okay, so now I'm going to change brushes. And I'm going to mix a value which will be my light value. Now I'm going to take a little bit of yellow. And a little bit of white. And a little bit of the green I had for my middle value. Okay, now I'm going to put this up here. And I'm going to put this toward the top of these branches so that we have the impression of sunlight overhead. Now the true color of things is actually in the middle value. So these are going to look a little light and a little dark and a little pale. But that's not the problem yet. The problem is just to establish the form. Form comes before color. If you get the color right and the form wrong, it doesn't do you any good. You get the form right and the color wrong, and people will forgive you. At least up until now they have. Here comes the middle value. And I'm still building the texture. I'll build the texture right up until just before I sign my name. Textures uh, of this sort uh, are very complicated. And uh, they need lots of care, lots of attention. And you can see how, as I put this middle value in, the color makes more sense. I'm going to tie these in a little bit, show me a, a few of the understory branches and stuff, some leaf pattern. Let's get this out here and overlap this uh, line a little bit so we see more layers of things. Remember, when we put more layers in, we create more three dimension. All right, now, we're going to mix some more bushes. Big surprise, huh? Here we go. We've got more bushes. As we come forward now, we've gone through, I don't know, what? One, two, three, four, five, six layers of bushes. We're going to go some more, and here we go. Uh, okay, I want to mix my base color. we got yellow-green. These are the new bushes. And these I want to make fairly bright. These are probably going to be the brightest ones I do in the whole picture. Because we want these to look like they're close to us. Nice, bright colors. Hardly any of the complement will be used in these colors. These are our foreground colors. And that's the middle color here. Now we're going to lighten that up and make that into the highlight color for that. Very important to keep the colors in the foreground bright and intense by comparison to the colors in the background. If you don't do that, if it doesn't happen like that, it reverses and you get uh, things in the foreground looking like they're in the background. Okay, there's my shadow color. Here's our three values. Now, in addition to making the colors very bright, we also want to make the colors high contrast. So the difference between my lights and darks now is greater than it has been at any time up till now. And once again, I'm bouncing my brush around in order to create a texture. I want this texture to be established from the moment I begin. I can't have too much texture. Even though I've got the same highlight color, I've changed the shadow color, and that means that the the contrast relationship has been changed appropriate to the distance that we're dealing with here.